Hey y'all, Big E here from Texas. Another Saturday. Um, not not as beautiful as normal. We're actually in the midst of the coronavirus, so here on the homestead. I hear you, Clip. Uh, here on the homestead, we are doing our due diligence and trying to keep our hands washed, you know. Um, minimize our exposure to folks. And when we do see folks, we're not just extending the hand anymore, you know. I myself have joined the uh, finger gun movement, trying to save a few lives, one finger gun at a time, so you guys are with me. Anywho, so we're feeling creative, and since he continues to interrupt me, um, I'd like to introduce y'all to Cluck Norris, our resident dictator. Um, he thinks he's the boss, but I've been thinking about doing a piece, and I figured, you know what, why not, why not do... Uh, a Club Norris tribute, so he's got a lot of attitude. That means this piece is going to have to have a lot of attitude, so y'all stay tuned. Let's see what we come up with. Cluck. Shush. For two seconds. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? Watch this. Well, will it, will it weld well enough is the question. I should probably flip it. That's how the rooster's gonna set. That's the torso, this is the neck. This is the head. We're going to have a beak right here. Treasure chest. I like that. It's actually perfect, as long as it don't move. Well, y'all, it's day three. Uh, day two, I spent socially distancing myself, but then I realized um, y'all aren't in the room or anything, so. Anywho, I'm just going to update you on, on where I'm at with the with the rooster. Um, this right here is a pulley. Thinking about putting a little rope through it and maybe doing something cool with it. And uh, these are the, the, the eyes. I love the, the googly eyes because this is how a uh, rooster or chicken moves their eye. To, they turn their head and they just zero in. Uh, the beak here is a um, part of a hoe, like a little cheap garden hoe. That's a Phillips tip saw blade here. These are bandsaw blades. I had them hanging up forever and never didn't know what I was ever going to use them for, but 
uh, that's going to be his tail feathers. And um, he's going out into the garden, and so he's going to make a little noise. Um, I made his legs here. The top of his legs is actually just a socket I cut and, and welded on there. No good sockets, by the way, uh, for all my tool guys. I don't want to upset you, but... There's some tools that just don't make the cut when it comes to the toolbox, so you got to find other uses for them. Anywho, having fun with it. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's going to have wings, and uh, they're going to fan out. This is what I'm going to use. I'll just probably, you know, figure out my design on there and, and cut it out. But anyhow, it's, it's going to be fun. I don't know how much I'll actually show, but it'll definitely give you progress reports. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like it like that. Google it. The Google eyes. You got the Google eyes. Yes, sir. You got the Google eyes. I can see them. The Google eyes. So Google. Something like that. Or like Bob Ross would say. Something like that. Well, let's do a quick update on where we are to this point. I've added the wings. Um, like how they turned out. I think it's going to make a really cool silhouette uh, on the sunny days. But right here on the front of the torso, this is a brake rotor from a 2006 Harley-Davidson motorcycle, my bike. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do on the back here, um, but I'm not sure. If you look right here on the this part right here, a couple of videos back, um, Cormiga's water pump went out on the job site and we sourced that part. Well, this is that part, so fit perfectly. But anywho, just want to talk to you about your statues. When you're making your statues, you know your foundation is your most important thing here. If you notice my legs, they go from the base all the way up to the top. That's the main support for the whole piece. So, especially these heavy metal pieces, you got to make sure that it's well supported and you don't have a piece that's fallen off. If you notice the the wings, are, it's it's only tacked on on a piece about that big so we uh we got to make sure that it's done well but anyway it's turning out great probably do brake rotor there fixing that work on the claws 
found this rebar. But if you look at the rebar there, you see the, the, the ridges on the rebar. It's kind of like a chicken foot. So I think they're going to turn out to be really cool claws. Hey y'all. Well, I hear you, Cluck. Speaking of Cluck, it's time for the unveiling. Here we go. It's Cluck number one. You got something to say? And Cluck number two. Squeeze me. Now, if you notice this right here, this is the Centronilla candle uh, life hack that we did a while back. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Cluck. So that's the 360 of our newest sculpture. I think it's going to be a pretty cool silhouette. Anyways, me and Cluck say appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.